just when you thought you had Mario all figured out. He goes and does this. Mario is a lot of things. Self-centered, impulsive, one-dimensional, hell. He could even be considered greedy with all the coins he collects. But a cold-blooded killer doesn't really seem like our Mario, or does it? Throughout the Super Mario video games, there has always been a bit of a question mark surrounding the use of power-ups and just what Mario has to do to utilize them. It's been debated whether Mario eats the power-ups or simply absorbs them, but we finally get confirmation from the Super Mario Bros movie, no less. Mario eats the Super Mushrooms. At first glance, it might seem harmless. After all, it's just Mario eating his vegetables, right? Sort of like Popeye with spinach. Wrong. Because the implications of eating this superfood actually reveals a dark secret that Mario has been hiding from us for years. Let's go and uncover this truth. In the Super Mario Bros movie, it is established that for Mario to grow into his super form, he needs to consume the super mushroom. Now, although it's perfectly fine for Mario to eat these mushrooms, it does raise numerous ethical questions regarding the consumption of other power-ups. If Mario has to eat this power-up to gain its abilities, would Mario also need to eat alternative power-ups to gain their powers too? Sure. Let's put aside the obvious non-edible power-ups like the Super Hammer, where Mario simply holds this tool, or the Goomba Shoe. But what about something like the Penguin Power-Up? How exactly does Mario consume its power? Sure, it's called the Penguin Suit, but this thing sure as hell doesn't stay put like a costume should. Instead, it moves very suspiciously like a penguin would, and closely resembles the penguins from none other than Super Mario 64. These penguin suits are in actuality no suit at all. In fact, we just have to look to Nintendo themselves for confirmation. In 2012, when a Nintendo representative was questioned about the flying squeal suit, the representative made it abundantly clear that Mario does not actually wear a super suit. Where's my super suit? But instead transforms into a flying squirrel. And we see this in the movie too, in the form of Mario transforming almost instantly into both Cat Mario and Tanuki Mario. And if it's then no suit at all, well, for Mario to then consume such a power-up would be inhumane, to say the least. If something looks like a penguin, acts like a penguin, walks like a penguin, then it probably is a penguin. The same can be said about the frog suit, which again, conveniently resembles a frog, almost like it is a frog. You see, if this isn't a suit, then for Mario to consume such a power-up should be viewed at the very least as being equivalent to his acts of defeating Goombas and Koopa Troopers. At worst, he's not only a cold-blooded killer, but a predator that feeds on his prey in order to gain their powers. The things I do for love. <laughs> And if you want more evidence, then look no further than Super Mario Odyssey for proof. Mario's cap, Cappy, is sentient. And how do we know this? The eyes, Chico. They never lie. Cappy is not just any ordinary hat, no, but a conscious being with a personality, emotions, and abilities that Mario can use to his advantage. The only difference between something like Cappy and the Penguin Suit, simply put, is that Mario can still utilize the full potential of Cappy's abilities without the need to consume him. The exact same correlation can be made with Yoshi, who is also considered a power-up throughout the Mario franchise. I wouldn't put it past Mario to consume either Yoshi or Cappy if they didn't offer him unique abilities which can assist Mario on his journey, that is, without the need to be absorbed. What good is a penguin, or a frog for that matter, if they can barely assist Mario in his adventures? It's all about efficiency and strategy in the Mushroom Kingdom, and Mario knows best when it comes to making use of the resources available to him. But what's more, in the Super Mario Bros movie, the Super Mushroom that Mario eats, well, they no longer have faces. 
if you're looking for evidence of something questionable happening right before our very own eyes, then ask yourself this. Why don't super mushrooms have faces? Fireflies still hold their iconic look. Is it because the implications of consuming a power-up with the face would raise even more questions about the ethics of Mario's actions? Or is it because before we even lay our eyes on a super mushroom, we are introduced to various talking, sentient mushroom citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom, making it almost impossible to not see the resemblance between the mushroom people and the super mushrooms, leaving us to wonder if, simply put, the super mushrooms are some type of offspring of the mushroom people. Although faces on objects are a reoccurrence in the Mario universe, that doesn't suggest that these are also sentient beings, right? Well, my friends, I've got some bad news for you. In actuality, they very much are sentient. In the Super Mario Bros. NES instructions booklet, which does have the Nintendo seal of approval, we discover that the quiet, peace-loving mushroom people were invaded by Koopas who went on to use their black magic to turn the mushroom people into inanimate objects such as bricks, question mark blocks, trees, and other obstacles. So to assume that power-ups too are in actuality sentient, living beings, actually isn't all that far-fetched at all. Especially when you consider that super mushrooms are oftentimes portrayed with faces on them. So even if this version of Mario eats faceless super mushrooms, Mario as a whole has a lot to answer to because intentionally or otherwise, he's actively consuming living beings. But what do you think? Has Mario actively been consuming sentient entities all along? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. But this is only one aspect of the Super Mario Bros universe. Have you been wondering what exactly was that blue gloomy star in the Super Mario Bros movie? Because we sure as hell weren't expecting to see such a dark side to a character in this franchise. Click on this video here to discover just what is up with this blue star. See you next time.